What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I am back today to give you a review of the CP Company collaboration with ASICS on this Gel Quantum 368 in the cement grey colorway. So this is the very first collaboration between ASICS and Italian classic sportswear brand CP Company. Collaborating on the Gel Quantum 368, they released not only the cement grey colorway, but also this one, which is the Mission Yellow colorway. And this might be the two most polar opposite colorways that I've ever seen within one pack. But in today's video, I'll be reviewing the cement grey colorway, which if you couldn't guess by now, is my favorite of the two. So these released here in Canada on February 22nd, and they retailed for a price of 200 US dollars or 260 here in Canada. And the Gel Quantum 368, from what I know at least, is not actually a performance running shoe, but it's more so a lifestyle sneaker that incorporates running shoe technology to make it extremely comfortable on foot. So diving into the details of this shoe, the base layer of the sneaker is constructed out of a gray colored mesh, which makes the upper fairly lightweight and breathable. Overlaid on the toe box, we have a variety of fuse overlays, which center around the CP Company branding found right in the middle of the toe box. Surrounding it, you can see we have more of these white colored overlays and we have a large one covering the front toe cap, which gives you added durability. These same fuse overlays cover the eyelets of the sneaker, also giving you more durability here as well. And then underneath this on the mid panel, we have this large A6 stripe, which is kind of hard to see through this video, but it has this textured finish to it. And these vertical lines are actually raised so it's not just completely flat. Moving downwards, we have more of that gray colored mesh. And then surrounding the back of the shoe, the bottom layer here is a black colored nylon like material, which feels a bit like neoprene to the touch. And then overlaid on top of this, we have this large black colored TPU heel cup, which gives you a lot of structure and support for the back end of the shoe. And then hanging off the back of the sneaker, we have this black colored woven pull tab with Gel Quantum 360 branding on the left foot and CP Company branding on the right foot. As far as the laces go, so this pair comes with two different lace options. The standard lace that they come with is a oval shaped lace in grey, and these laces are extremely stretchy. But if you want more of a dramatic look, they also come with a oval shaped black lace as well. Underneath this, the majority of the tongue is constructed out of that same grey coloured mesh that we saw covering the body of the sneaker. But then on the top of the tongue, we have a grey coloured textile, and then fused on top of this, we have this patch with ASICS Gel Quantum 360 branding. The interior of the shoe is decently padded, and it's covered in this black colored liner. And then as far as the insoles go, so these come with a pretty well padded foam line insole. It has a pretty good thickness to it, which gives you a lot of step and comfort. And then on the heel of the insole, we have ASICS branding on the left foot, and CP Company branding found on the right foot. You'll also see instead of being board lasted or fabric lasted, there's actually another layer of foam here, which helps to increase the comfort by that much more. So the upper of this shoe, it sits atop this very chunky midsole, which is primarily constructed out of ASICS's FF Blast Plus technology. So this is a foam that's commonly seen in ASICS performance running shoes. So it gives the sneaker a relatively lightweight, very bouncy, and extremely well cushioned feel underfoot. And to complement this FF Blast foam, running throughout the entire length of the midsole, we have ASICS gel technology, and this is completely blacked out as well, giving the shoe an extremely sleek appearance. But from what I know, don't quote me on this as 100% fact, but based off of previous gel quantum models that I've seen cut in half, I believe these gel pillars only surround the outer edges of the midsole, and they're there more so to provide support around the edges of the sneaker. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, so this outsole is constructed out of a mix of rubber and foam, but it's all blacked out, continuing that design language that we saw on the midsole. So we have black rubber surrounding the outer ring of the shoe, as well as the middle of the forefoot, Underneath this, we have what I presume to be FF Blast Foam. And then in the middle of the outsole, we have this TPU plate, which is what ASICS calls their Trustic technology. And this gives the shoe a lot of stability, especially around the midfoot area of the shoe. And it provides a lot of torsional support as well. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this shoe. And for those wondering about sizing, for the most part, these do run true to size. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and they fit me perfectly. So to give you guys a point of comparison, I also wear a size 10 in other ASICS models like the Gel KN014, the Gel 1130, the GT2160. So whatever size you normally wear for those models, I'd get the same size for this pair and you should be perfectly fine. 
In terms of the comfort of this shoe, so I was actually pleasantly surprised because this is the first time I've ever worn an Asics Gel Quantum model, but they were actually extremely comfortable underfoot. If I had to compare it to something, it kind of feels almost like a New Balance 990 V6 in a way. So both of those models kind of have a bit of a wobbly feel on foot. That's not to say that I felt like I was going to roll my ankle in these, that's definitely not the case. But I'm assuming it's the FF Blast Plus Foam, which gives the shoe much more of a dynamic feel. So if you're looking for a shoe that feels extremely low to the ground, very stable, this is not going to be the shoe for you. But if you'd like a shoe that has very bouncy and very dynamic feel underfoot, then this is a shoe that you're probably going to love. Finally, in terms of the quality and craftsmanship, unfortunately, all the materials used on this shoe are synthetic materials. So we have a bunch of meshes, a bunch of fuse overlays, some TPUs, and things of that nature. So the quality of the shoe really wasn't anything special, but that's kind of expected given that the design of the shoe is inspired by those classic running shoes. So I'm not going into this purchase expecting super premium materials, but at least from a build standpoint, it was pretty good. There were some minor glue stains along the midsole, but other other than that, the panels were consistent, they lined up between my left and right foot, and I really had no complaints about the overall build of this sneaker. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet, I'll lace them up for you, and I'll show you guys how these look. To be honest, this wasn't really a shoe that I was immediately drawn to when I first saw the product images, but it was a sneaker I was really interested to check out and see how they were in person. Like I said earlier, I've never worn a Gel Quantum 360 in my life, so this is my very first pair, and I came away feeling surprised but impressed with the comfort of this sneaker. And from a design standpoint, like I said earlier, this is a very sleek looking sneaker. This all black midsole and the black heel, it almost feels like ninja-like. And it's something that I don't typically gravitate to, but it's something that I just wanted to try and see if I can integrate a shoe like this into my personal rotation. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about the cement gray colorway of this ASICS and CP Company collaboration? Between the cement gray colorway and this super loud mission yellow colorway, which of the two do you guys prefer? Do you like the more muted, more versatile colorway with this gray pair? Or do you just really wanna be loud and break all the necks and rock this yellow colorway? There's really no right or wrong answer. It seems like the cement gray is a bit more popular, but this yellow colorway is just so loud, it's so out there. And I give credit to anyone that's able to actually pull this off. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on x at sean.go spelt out, and visit my website at seango.ca. So thank you so much for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.